This is a non-sponsored video. All thoughts and opinions are mine and mine alone. I received this product from PowerA after one of my other PowerA headsets broke. They sent it to me through the mail, no charge, due to my old headset having a two-year warranty. Unfortunately, when they tried to send the headset to me, it never arrived. It turns out UPS just left the package on the doorstep and walked away without ringing the doorbell or knocking on my door. They just left it open for porch pirates. Thankfully, PowerA sent me a replacement for the headset that I never received at no charge. Thanks a lot, UPS. You can buy the PowerA Fusion from GameStop, Best Buy, Walmart, PowerA.com, and Amazon. The PowerA Fusion Gaming headset cost about $39.99 plus tax depending on the retailer. It roughly goes for about $40 bucks, to be exact. The box includes one Fusion Gaming headset, one Boom microphone, one braided 42 inch, 3 foot, 5 inch thick audio cable, one manual, one legal information guide, and one sticker. The Power A Fusion Gaming headset is compatible with any 3.5 millimeter audio port. The frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and the sensitivity is 116 plus to negative 3 decibel. The driver type is a dynamic 50 millimeter independence 20 ohms and the max power output is 20 megawatts. To be honest, I don't know what any of this means, but all I know is that the headset has good audio quality. If you're a tech whiz, you probably know what all this means. I do not know what all this means. All I want is a headset that I can talk to friends with and listen to music. Features. On-ear volume and mute controls, detachable mic with flexible metal neck, 90, uh. 90 degree rotation, noise isolating ear cup, and expandable metal headband with memory foam. Now here are the cons. Mic feedback. When talking to friends on Discord, my friends notice that my mic will have an echo effect. Back feed from who I'm talking to will occur. The problem only occurs if the headset or computer volume is turned all the way up. The problem is one-sided though. My friends will hear themselves from my headset, but however, I cannot hear the echo. Oh wow, wow I can't I hear, hear myself. myself. Oh god. I can't hear it though. I can't, I, I can't hear it through back through my mic. I can only hear, you can hear it, but I can't hear the echo. Uh... I can, I can like, like slightly, slightly hear myself. myself. Maybe a little more than more slightly. slightly. It's, it's a little a weird. Because it's delayed from like after I talk, but like I can, like, can fix myself, myself talking. talking. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. So I'm going to turn the volume down to like from 100% on the computer to 90. Like, try talking now. Uh, still hear myself. So. Okay, going down to 80. I hopefully no, no still still okay going down to 70 uh can you still hear it I don't hear myself, hear myself. Never, never mind, mind. <laughs> okay going down to 60. Um, I think, okay, no, I can still hear myself. Okay, going down to 50. Good heavens, how low do you have to have it to not hear yourself? I can still hear me. Okay, going down to 40. Um, is, is this the magic number? No. Going down to 30. Oh <laughs> god, this is still gonna go on? Oh? Okay, now I can't hear myself. Okay, so so that was the headset because the headset has like a volume dial where I'm able to turn up the headset's volume mixed, oh. with, mixed with the computer volume. So I wish the headset had like a little tiny rigid mode, like, oh, uh, not one, not two, not three, like that, but it's like fully freely. 
It's not like a dot. Yes, yeah, yeah. So right now my computer volume is at 30% with the headset being at full max. Mm -hmm. The best level for like good audio, like so you don't hear the echo effect, is me setting my headset to 50 and me setting my computer to 50. So I'll try talking now. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't hear myself. I recommend having your headset or computer volume set to 50%. The mute button has a feedback when pressing it. Others can hear it. When I think of a mute button, I think of muting myself without other people knowing. I don't want people to know that I'm muting myself. So that's the um, sound of the mute button. When I think of a mute button, I want to be able to like, like say for instance, your friends are recording a gaming session. I want to be able to press the mute button, press it, and then like leave and not say anything. Or like leave from my computer to like go get a snack, use the toilet, go get the mail. But like, this is distracting. Even if I press it softly, like this. No matter how softly I press it, it's when it pops back out that still makes the sound. So that's sort of a, not a big deal, but it's appreciated if you have a mute button that's supposed to be muted, not the thing that causes the you know un, not the muting if you know what i mean i want a mute button that's silent i don't want a mute button that makes a sound every single time when i go silent i've tried it a few times and around from a height of five feet it hasn't got any cracks lost any sound from the headphones and hasn't been haunted by ghosts yet the power a fusion gaming headset is a reasonably priced headset with comfort and communication taken to mind. But I will admit there are some flaws with it and features that are missing, such as Bluetooth and wireless option and a mic boom. But other than that, if you are looking for a headset that has great audio quality, feels nice on your head and costs about 30 to 40 bucks, then the Power A Fusion Gaming headset is for you.